Hi, my name's Anne. I'm one of the uh, creative practitioners with Creative Schools. We've got the end of a very inspiring day here in the workshops where we met with our classroom teachers. Great opportunity to sort of find kindred souls. I think there was a shared element of a bit of trepidation about where things would head, but I think there was this lovely synergy by the end of the time that we were both prepared to make mistakes and, and tread the pathway together. So I'm really looking forward to taking away the suite of skills I felt I was presented with today and, and put it into a school setting. So I'm looking forward to meeting the kids. I enjoyed that process of collaborating in a group. And I think sometimes as an artist, you do quite a lot of work on your own. So you're know, having these kind of opportunities to you know, meet other people and share ideas are really, really important. One of the things that's really inspired me is this idea that we have been given almost like a permission or a license to encourage the kids to look at and learn about the process. The value is in the journey. A creative thinker often is not just a problem solver, they're a problem seeker. They're looking for something where they want to change, they want to adapt. So to be a critical thinker is to then not just go with your first idea as the best idea, but how do you unpack it? How do you, how do you tease it and tangle it and turn it into something else? Over the next six months, I think what I'm hoping Creative Schools is going to bring to my classroom, the idea that the children can drive a lot of this stuff for themselves and I get the, you know, the privilege of coming along with them and seeing what they're achieving. I think having that support from the Department of Education in Western Australia really gives this kind of program a real boost. So for a school thinking about signing up to the program, if they see that there is support and there's funding, it's going to be an easier decision not to take down the structure but to add other elements to it. I think it's important that teachers take away that while it might seem on the outset really frightening to plan and discover this way, that in the end it should actually make teaching and learning easier and in fact probably be able to fit twice as much in in the time frame. We shouldn't be having to go off to art to learn art. While those skills on their own need to be taught, they can be an undercurrent within the curriculum. So my ideal dream at the end of the day would be that all schools saw that this is a critical role within schools. I think that it can be delivered in an exciting and rich way. I want the kids to be able to see it as a sense of fun and a sense of excitement and a sense of wonder, but also as a sense of there is a, there is a purpose to it. So often it's the child who has difficulty concentrating, who, who doesn't find the rote learning easy, who suddenly becomes the shining star. And anyone knows that as soon as you experience success, that builds a sense of who you are as a person. In the future, jobs will really change. I think, you know, we already know gone are the days of, of, you know, having one job for life. And I think the kids of today who are going through the school will need to have imagination. They will need to be inquisitive. They will need certainly to be persistent and they'll need to be able to change. With the Creative Schools program, I hope that students have an essence of that they own the learning. When they're out in the real world solving a problem, they'll use the, the skills they've learned. They'll use the language of, go, oh, yeah, actually, how can I approach this differently? Here's the way I dealt with it once before. So it'll really have that, that currency of being a, a real life skill.